All right, in this video, we'll compare Google Authenticator and Microsoft Authenticator. So let's get into it. Starting with the features, Google Authenticator is a simple authentication app that now supports cloud backup. Microsoft Authenticator is more than that. It has features to protect your account and help you with your passwords, payments, and ID verifications. You can use both without an account. However, both offer account options. Signing in to your Google account enables Cloud Sync. However, signing in with your Microsoft account activates two-factor authentication for your Microsoft account. You can enable or disable the account backup in the settings. Let's talk about the app security now. Google Authenticator has no password protection, so whoever has access to your phone can open the app. Microsoft Authenticator automatically enables a screen lock depending on your phone's lock. To open the app, you must unlock it first. Both also let you hide codes so others can't see them. This is helpful in crowded spaces such as events and public transport areas. It's time to explore the cloud backup features. Microsoft Authenticator had this feature for a long time. Google has just joined the club. In Microsoft Authenticator, you must sign in with your account to enable the cloud backup. The backup option is in the settings. To recover codes, you must use the same account on your new device. With Google Authenticator, you can choose the account on the top right. When the sync is enabled, you will see this green cloud icon. You will have access to the same codes on all your logged in devices. You can also disable backups by going to the account menu and clicking the use without an account button. This will delete all the codes from all other devices. You will only have codes on this device. So what about transferring accounts to other devices? Google Authenticator is the winner as it lets you export and import accounts. The process is easy. All you need to do is generate the QR code and scan that code from a new device. With this feature, you can enable offline backup in Google Authenticator. Just save this screenshot somewhere and scan it to recover codes. Before we go, let's talk about the additional features of Microsoft Authenticator. You can save or import passwords or generate new ones in this section. There are multiple ways to import passwords. The password generation tool lets you adjust password strength before generating. It saves the generated passwords to your account. You can also replace Google Auto Login with Microsoft Authenticator so it will auto login on websites on your Android device. The app also supports saving credit cards without the CVV number. This is useful for online shopping. You can copy your card details with one tap. Moreover, the app lets you save addresses. It has several address options and you can copy an address with one tap. Next, Microsoft has introduced the Verified IDs feature that lets you save your personal details in this app and verify it on participant websites. This helps in fast and secure verification. Lastly, the app has a battery saving mode to save battery. Although I have never seen this app using much battery, it is here if you want to. So which one is for you? Google Authenticator offers limited features. It makes things simple, which is okay. However, I suggest using Microsoft Authenticator, especially if you change your phone often, forget it or lose it. It has more features and may help in emergency situations. With that said, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about the two below and take care.